Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Duncan. And I'm Jeef. Uh, basically, guys, today we're going to show you how to set up a stream. We've taught you so far how to do RAM, graphics cards, putting on gel skins to your VR. But there's a lot of you out there who want to learn how to stream. It's really difficult sometimes with all the technology and all the stuff going on out there. Madness, Jeff! Madness! Indeed! Whoa. Do you have a monocle? I all right. wish. All right. Anyway. <laughs> So anyway, guys, uh, me and Jeff here are going to be giving you two sides to how streaming works. I'm an OBS user. He's an exploit user. So that way we can give you guys little tips on that. But let's first start about picking out the stuff you'll need. We're only going to keep this basic and we'll do this in more to a series so you guys can actually use everything. So with this, uh, first thing you need to do is have a PC. Uh, the PC you're going to need for this kind of stuff is going to be sort of a PC that is able to power everything. I mean, really, you got to make sure that it has the right chip, right RAM, right graphics card, and make sure the graphics card has a good capture device onto it. Sometimes you can buy external graphics, you know, capture cards like Elgato, Avid, and a few other kind of brands out there. Just do your research. They're all really good. It's really not that hard, but I usually say trust Elgato or Avid. Uh, those are two of the ones that, you know, I, I think are great. Um, I actually use my built-in, uh, was it capture display from my, or capture card, on my graphics card, to be honest. I mean, do you, do you use the same thing? I use uh, Avermedia Live HD. It's uh, yeah, the reason being it's because it's, it's an internal card, and it um, and internal cards don't actually have uh, any lag, or at least they have minimal lag. Um, a lot of the external ones, just keep in mind, if you do get an external capture card, they do lag uh, on USB two about two and a half seconds. Just keep that in mind if you get uh, an external card. Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> Have you noticed I was kind of rolling my eyes earlier? I was just kidding. Anyway, no, but he's right about that. Um, so it, it always varies on the person. So you do your research on that kind of stuff. Uh, it always varies, uh, you know, from latency to the sync up, all very different. So once you got all that stuff assembled, uh, the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have the right components, meaning you need a mic and a mouse. Now, there's two types of uh, mics that you want to look at. There's USB and XLR. Um, you may say, what are the difference between the two? So USB, uh, it captures your voice and it does a pretty good job about it, but it doesn't have the crystal clarity of XLR. The problem is some people can't afford the huge setup for XLR, meaning you need a mixer and from there you can add a little, little sound stuff and from there it just, it gives you a little more options, but you can do the same in USB, but by using Adobe, uh, <laughs> what is it? Oh God, it's, 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 but it's one of the Adobe programs and I'm trying to think of it and it's going to blank on me. All this time. Audacity. I don't know. We're just going to sit here and try to think of it. You know, it's... I wonder if there's like something we could actually Premier. think about. No, this, that's a video program. Well, I mean, you can do audio too. It's, it's, that's, that's true, but it's not, not audio. audio. I know. It's, 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 it's got a green icon. Green? I'm not yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I just hope the gods. I don't know. I'm trying to look for a phone. Can't Google anything. We're locked here. In the camera with these We're people. Okay, I know. Oh. Hold on, Jeff. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, okay. There will be this part in Adobe that I know that we can actually think about. We just slowly can through everything and go Premiere. Uh, uh, Captivate? No. Uh, what's that thing when people usually go out and they like... Ah! Addition! <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, so the thing is is that you can use addition for those sound extra add audio uh, tools that you want to add into there. So, but those are the two differences. Do your, again, your research between the two and what you want to use. I usually use USB for my streams. Do you use XLR or USB? I use uh, XLR. Okay, so he uses XLR. So, Sorry, uh, one of the reasons why is because uh, with the, the, the preamp that I have, uh, it, you can actually have direct monitor, and that way you can listen to yourself as you're talking. Well, see, with my Samsung mics for USBs, they actually have a monitor that plugs in and you can uh, still hear it. Nifty. That's why I go with Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So after you guys choose what mic you want to use, there's a lot of great array out there. You can do stuff from Samsung. You got some from Shure. What is else you got out mics? You got the Yeti from Blue. Uh, Razer's got, there's just a whole bunch. But just, you know, figure out the ones that you like and make you sound the way you want to sound. Because again, your stream is what makes the difference in you. After that, guys, you want to find uh, a webcam. Now, there's all different types of webcams out there uh, for you to use, but I I basically stick to the you know time tested, sure true uh, Logitech, you know C920. These things are actually really good. Uh, they're cheap. You get them for like I think you can get them from 20 now. When they first came out, it was 100. 
Uh, but these things come in HD. I've never had an issue. I'm we're using it to record right now, to be honest. You know, so booyah. Uh, but I mean, they're they're just they're 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 so simple and easy to get through. Uh, besides that, after you get those two components, you want to choose your setup. You know, from the chat display and everything like that, and kind of like you know, do you want a second monitor or do you want to use your phone? Uh, from there, you're gonna have to use a program. Those programs are actually gonna be a little bit different. The programs, you know, like I listed before, is OBS and XSplit. Uh, there are two types that you want to take a full like gander at and check out. Uh, I mean, like OBS itself is actually really one of the things I prefer because I get a little more user options. I mean, we're using it to record right now. Uh, but you tell me your pros of XSplit. Uh, I, I kind of like XSplit a little bit more because it has more of a professional layout. Uh, you can hot, uh, you can use hotkeys to switch through your scenes. You can actually have infinite scenes, which there was a, a presentation that I did one time that was. 62 scenes uh, in one pack. It was nuts. Not um, required. <laughs> and uh, not only that, uh, there's a projector mode, which basically takes the uh, the the, uh, the viewport window and expands it to the size of uh, like an, a monitor or, or a projector if you wanted to do that. And also, I, I know the guys at Exploit, um, Miguel and uh, John, they're great guys. And um, how you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, for me, OBS is just basically a free base source. XSplit, you pay money a monthly, and it's a pretty simplistic, you know, program that does a lot. So I don't want to tone down and say it's simplistic. It's just user. It's a little bit more user friendly. OBS tends to be a little bit more non-user friendly, but it's not really that hard to get a grasp of. But you can do is infinite scenes. You can make global sources. So you can switch through them so it's seamless. You know, you'll see it right here. I mean, like right now, I'll show you how I do it. So like when you switch over to a scene, you go like this, and then we'll bring up watch. Keyboard announced. There it is. See, it just comes up like it's a you know should have been there, perfectly timed on iron. So anyway, uh, as you can watch, we're gonna do this, and this is how we're gonna show you guys. You're gonna switch over, go from this, and Twitchception. Check that out right there. I know, I know. So, uh, but what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna bring this up here. Uh, please ignore the porn. <laughs> <laughs> what are you even doing? Nothing. <laughs> So as you guys can see, uh, you can see between the scenes where you show us and this, and it goes through it flawlessly. So after that, guys, you want to go find your browser. So you go to OBS. No, oh, not OBD. I don't know what's taking this. So as it shows right here, OBS, it goes to Open Broadcast Software. And from here, guys, uh, you can actually look at this and download OBS Studio. Uh, it does a lot of great things. You know, you can see these features here, high performance, real time video. I've, again, never had that issue. It gives you the sound levels improved now again guys but this is also offered the same on xsplit so you know take your choice and pick um i do know there's some pretty cool key features in uh xsplit but i'm i'm a slave to uh basically the first thing i use time tested true and never fails me so i stick with obs i tried xsplit the first time it just became too much of a hassle for me uh but again that's me user wise so once you guys get the basics of that stuff down you're now ready to start your stream uh, that's going to be another part for us to actually room into is setting up your stream and how it goes. But when you install uh, any of the programs, you want to follow us, you know, simple setups. Again, these will all be explained more in setting up, you know, your stream overlays and other things like that. And I'll have Jeff help me with that kind of stuff. So besides that, do you have any other tips for people when they get started streaming? Um, keep it simple. Uh, basically, uh, if you if you're starting out streaming, you probably want to have like three or four scenes at max. Uh, basically, one that says uh, you're starting your stream, your your basic stream with your webcam and your game capture, and then uh, uh, probably like a VRB screen if you need to grab a drink or use the bathroom or something like that. And then uh, just a scene that says, oh, congrats, like thanks everybody for hanging out. You know, uh, end of the stream will be on next you know next day at this time or something like that. Just keep it simple. Yep, keep it simple. Isn't it K I S? Keep yeah. it simple. Oh, there's a there's yeah, another S yeah, in there. So exactly. Like there's. If you add another S, keep it simple, stupid. Oh, there it is. So there you guys go. This has our, been our you know, little insight to setting up your stream. If you have any more questions, please post them in the comment below. Uh, if you're worried about the chipset you get, I usually just suggest anything from AMD on their higher end series or anything from Intel. RAM is not such a big deal. I would always say 16 as security, but I've d I do it on eight right now. Uh, but again, this is all in your system preferences of what you choose to use as your stream, was it your stream setup. So, guys, thank you for stopping by, and this has been another episode of Cyrus Cool.